Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. N not Yugi, but Yuki with a K in it. But, um, to meet y'all, uh, I'm, I'm a little Oni, you know, your neighborhood that just came out from the, from the underground, came to see what Earth was about. I'm loving it so far, you know? Um, I also play, um, JRPGs, RPGs, usually story-driven games, because I like stories, and, um, I do the artsy-fartsy on the side, and, uh, yeah. Okay. Love to see it, love to see it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, Zero, you don't need introductions. Fuck Damn. you! You be alright. You be alright. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Okay. Listen, he, he, he's the only one among us that, uh doesn't want to have a social media presence so he doesn't need an introduction oh. i just do online stuff i don't do content creation no nah, understandable i think stressful at times understandable plus he's been on like he, he's been on stream before so he's he he's more than okay uh, all right no he's just a rude bastard fuck you oh okay okay anyway so I feel that before we start getting into how much of a train wreck this damn game turned into, I say that we start with uh, talking about how we all started playing the game. Oh man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Go oh, ahead. Oh man. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> I'm I'm really gonna make a date, Joss. So, do you know, do any, do the two of you know what a curio is? Yes. No. <laughs> I'm scared. All right, hit me up. What, what is so, it? A curio was a, essentially, it's like a child phone. So, like, if, let me see if I can send something real quick. Um, I got Google on hand. Let me see. The curio 4S. Curio Touch 4S. Ooh, that sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a backwater phone, dog. <laughs> sounds like a backwater phone, man. I'm not gonna it lie. was my phone before an actual phone. So Ooh. I got that. I think I got it for like Christmas. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. how young I am, and that's how old both of you are. Anyways, motherfucker. Um, so I had that, and like randomly one day I was looking for like games on the app store. Right, mm -hmm. and I found it. I was like, Brave, was like, oh, what's this? Whoa, this looks cool. You tap the Unity, you swipe. Whoa, that's cool. So I <laughs> sent it to him. And I'm like, Yo, you should play this. It was like, Oh, okay. And then we both played it for a while, and then my curio broke, and that's when I stopped oh. playing it for a while until I got a new phone, and then I started playing it again until I discovered a better game, and then that's why I stopped. That's about right. <laughs> that's about right. For me, it was, um, so, like, I was kind of in the same route as, like, Zero here. Uh, I had, I, I liked Samsung phones, but, like, you know how expensive, like, the S line is? So, yeah. I was one of the, yeah, so I was one of those people who got, like, those, those weird other lines. Like, you, God, mine was, um, Galaxy S Core Prime. It was a very small phone. And the date, like the space wasn't that big to begin with. But um, at the time, I think I was like crazy about Play Store. Like I was going through like downloading all these like games, uh, freaking Otome games, freaking uh, CD drama, stuff like that. And then I came on, um, uh, what, Brave Frontier. And I remember playing the game a lot. Like my memory is not that sharp about it because, oh God, we'll get to it, I think, at some point. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, that's basically what happened. And then um, I think from there, I think I moved on to Kingdom Hearts Union or Terra Battle. Oh, Jesus. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. <laughs> I'm, said, oh. I'm so sorry you played that shit. <laughs> Terra Battle? No, no, no. Union Cross. Oh, yeah. Union? No, that's a whole nother. Uh, <laughs> uh. So for myself, I mean, it's pretty much what Zero said for what for one of the few times in our lives, uh, he put me hip to a game 
Mm-hmm. And I was like, okay, me thinking it was like, like dog shit or whatever, right? I okay. downloaded it, and then I played it every single day for about six years. Oh wow! Okay, give or take. Yeah, you played it more than I did, especially after I broke my curio. Yeah, and like, like Dang. what what really caught my attention about it is because it it wasn't it wasn't um the gameplay it was a sprite work because the the, the sprite work yeah. looked dope as shit because yeah. yeah. like at the time i was like oh you know phone games exist but they ain't really shit and then mm-hmm. i mm-hmm. see like this kind of shit and i'm like oh wait that looks pretty as shit yeah i agree it was so I agree. good bro now like the screenshot that i have on screen right now was like after like like three graphical updates i couldn't really find anything from like before they happened and shit and we'll get to Mm -hmm. that in a minute but (laughs) i was just like yo damn this is a really really good looking game and this is for a phone yeah i will admit yeah like i had it on uh on my ipod which i still have is sitting right in front of me but that bitch don't stay on past five minutes without being on a charger anymore (laughs) but like like there were days where like I was the the MMOs I was playing and the JRPGs I was playing I dead ass would not turn on any console or my computer I'd just be playing that shit right like yeah I'm talking I'm in Skype call with the homies playing Brave Frontier on my phone and they're like hey dog you trying to get on PS2 nah I gotta do this Brave Frontier event <laughs> bro <laughs> oh my god like bro. that that shit had me by the neck so crazy i didn't even know what to do like like what what maintenance was every what thursday or some shit and like like on thursdays i'm like damn what do i do knowing knowing right that i got Mm -hmm. all these other fucking games to play i'm like damn what do i play now that brave frontier is unplayable oh like i didn't even know that they um they turned off the servers until I was like looking it up. I was like, let me see what's going on anyway. And they said that they turned it off like what last year, I believe, right? Yeah, it was it was fairly recently. Yeah. I was, I was like, oh, in the club, bro. Oh. <laughs> Cause like like it's it's not that they wasn't making any money off of it, because they made a fuck load of money. We'll get to that imagine. later too. But yeah. like 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 people just stop playing it for real because mm. in the, in the midst of Brave Frontier One, they released Brave Frontier Two. It never made it out of Japan. They made mm-hmm. uh, a European like spinoff of Brave Frontier One that was fucking horrible. Mm-hmm. Um, and then like like all the other regions like the Korean Brave Frontier and Chinese Brave Frontier. Mm-hmm. And uh, 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 European Brave Frontier, like those, started shutting down because people stopped playing them. And it was like, well, there's no fucking point to keep this shit running. And that's when, oh. like, that that's when the uh, the uh, the 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 player count, at least in the North American dipping. version, uh, yeah, yeah, it started dipping everywhere else. But when they migrated to the North American servers, that's when like. The game started breaking in half because it couldn't handle like a surge of like what three million plus players a day or some shit. Oh, okay. Oh, that's kind of that's understandable because like there's a lot of RP like MMOs like who they have like their own servers I think in different areas. So like um I think recently like I saw this one article of like Nier reincarnation. I think they turned off or like shut down one of the servers and like I don't know what C stands for like S E A. Probably uh, like Southeast Asian. Yeah, yeah. I think they shut it off there, and I was like, "Whoa, that's kind of bad." Because people who are playing the game over there will have to like, you know, migrate over to the next server, and that server's probably gonna like implode. So I can imagine. Yeah, cause like, like I remember. Oh, f- I I don't remember specifically what event it was, but it was mm-hmm. it was some featured unit banner and like in mm-hmm. the little news thing that they show you after you log in, it gives yeah. you like the updates and it's talking about server migration. 
sis, when I say the servers was tweaking the fuck out for a week and a half because <laughs> of all the fucking people, I'm like, dog, I can't even play the game. It's tweaking so bad. Yep. Like, right. like the, 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 the one time that I did manage to stay logged in for more than about five minutes before it crashed on me, I did, I, I did a, um, I did a, I did a multi summon, right? Mm -hmm. The game tweaked so hard that it just didn't register it happening. It still took my oh, fuck. It still took my took fucking your... gems, <laughs> but I didn't get to keep shit, and <laughs> I got the up. featured fucking unit too. Okay, well, I mean that's one positive thing, but it's like an ATM. It took your card and didn't take. Yeah. Didn't give you money. I didn't get to keep shit, but um, uh, mm -hmm. like like that that. That was one of many like, like game breaking instances, and it wasn't like, oh, this is one unit that makes the game like a joke. It was like, no, it was technical problems and shit. Oh yeah, definitely. Damn, I didn't know it was that bad. Like I knew that. I mean, obviously, you can kind of tell when like the lifestyle or like the life span of like an MMO is to die down, and like they start to say, oh, we're gonna close this server, we're closing that server. We're showing this down. We're showing that down. So I was like, "Ooh, yeah, that's not good." For real, like, like I remember when um, um, when uh, when Brave Frontier Two came out. This was like 2018 and shit. Cause did you did you ever have an app? Cause I was called like like Cool App, Q App, whatever the fuck. It was like an orange dude with a top hat and a mustache. I thought it was blue. No, no, no. The 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 app square itself was blue but the mm. little icon in the middle was an orange dude oh. mm -hmm. and that let you get access to like apk files for games outside of your region and oh. i found out about it on reddit and i was like oh fuck this might be this might be heat it was not heat it was cold cold as hell they were not cooking bro they, they was not cooking dog <laughs> Like, oh. <laughs> like that that shit was so bad. <laughs> but we'll 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 get into that. We'll get into that shit later. Mm -hmm. So like, okay, I guess we can start with the 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 gameplay side of it. Like like early early Brave Frontier. We'll work our way up into the bullshit era oh of the my game. God. <laughs> dude, 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 dude. It was like honestly. When you compare it to not to what was there before before it shut down, it was actually pretty good. So like, yeah, and I kind of have like vivid memories of it because I remember doing all those honor summons and getting all the crappy units. But yeah. then just like every like maybe like fifty pulls, you'll get like either one of the six heroes or like the weird like side six heroes like the what was his name oh my god it was like beast zelger oh yeah yeah, yeah 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 all those guys oh, yeah. yeah it was oh. good it was good but like it took a lot to like build units and stuff like this yeah. is back when five stars were a thing like getting like the uh the earth twins do, uh, oh earth my god twins. Oh Alice, shit! <laughs> all of those people, yeah, yeah. No, That's like it, it was good. I liked it because, like, I mean, obviously, if you compare it to now, it's like that game is like you know it's behind its years. But at the time, like, I think my favorite was the honor summons. But I do agree that like when you had like your units, it was kind of hard to really build on them. I mean, I know that nowadays, like, it's the same thing like Genshin and like other uh, other like. MMO games are like that, but I feel like back then you had it. It was kind of hard getting the right slimes of the right like attribute. I think mm -hmm. for the for like the unit you wanted to like you know upgrade and like evolve, and it's like bro, I don't have that much time. Right? It's too much. Like like oh fuck, do y'all oh, oh this, I don't, this one might hurt, but like do y'all remember when like. Getting the evolution unit was on a day by day oh timer. Oh my god! Yes. Oh, <laughs> dude, remember when they were hard? Yeah. Oh my yes. God. <laughs> yes. Like I would, oh, I would try to actually pull for them, and then I'm like, okay, you know what? The game has been pretty nice to me before, so maybe I might be able to get something. No. Hell no. no. Hell no. no. Cause like, it hurt. Like, like before they made that shit permanent, cause people could complain about it. It was like. 
it was like mm-hmm. like Mondays was the karma farming shit. Tuesdays yeah. was the little the little uh the little sprite nymphs shit. Mm-hmm. Uh Wednesdays was like the, the little mimics. the fuck yeah yeah the fucking oh mi- my God, dog, the, mimics. the fucking mimics. <laughs> um Thursday was the uh It was the uh, it was the guild thing or gold guild whatever the fuck it was called. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it was uh the jewel ghost, jewel ghost. Yeah, yeah, the 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 jewel motherfuckers. Oh, the little rainbow looking, yeah. Yeah, and then mm-hmm. and then Friday was the uh, the little elemental nymphs and shit. Yeah, and then I think Saturday was the uh like the the, the fucking moai looking bastards. <laughs> moai. And then and then I think Sunday oh, Sunday yeah. was a fucking the the. Let me look it up right now. The big yeah, ass. I'm looking it up right now. The big ass totem dudes that was hard as fuck to be back in the day. Oh yeah. Oh, I remember. I would be dying. Dog. Like, it, I, like you had to actually get your characters to a certain level, or else they would not do zero to no damage. And it's yeah. like you're wasting time. They're gonna body you in like five hits. Right. And plus, like, like, like the irritating part is that the fucking you always needed the damn like the big totems for the for the fucking like like five star and up evolutions right and then mm-hmm. back then those motherfuckers would always do aoe's and shit and they'd hit ridiculously oh. hard and just be like whoop that's a wasted run mm-hmm. oh my god oh my god i'm getting flashbacks no wonder i can't remember this fucking game because i didn't want to remember it oh my god <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I remember. So Friday was the wand, was the hostile relic. So that you just got like a bunch of random stuff from it. But I re- like that day was not really important because like Friday, Friday was always the day where it's like <sighs> it's not really that important. But all the other days are super important. I remember, I remember always farming up exp on Monday. So that way I could have energy to do the to play the actual game. Bro. When energy was an actual thing in mobile games. Man, look, oh look. Back back then I was on like like high tier copium with the energy <laughs> shit. Because like, you know, when you level up you get more of it and shit. But like, man, looking back, what the fuck was we on? <laughs> like, like that shit is 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 beyond inexcusable these days because like because like like and the crazy part is that for the shit that you wanted to do that gave like all the crazy fucking rewards it was like 50 energy 100 energy and that shit Mm -hmm. recharged like what before the update it was like one energy every five minutes or some dumb shit like that yeah yeah yeah, that's the reason why it was harder for me to get into it because I'm like, if I wanted to do this one like summon or like this one like dungeon, and you're telling me I have to waste like a hundred, and I only have like two hundred, e- like stamina or like um energy, then I'm like, I had better hope and pray that I pass this dungeon with flying colors. Right. Uh, it was so bad. It God so forbid you bad. were an arena fiend that you had to wait thirty minutes for one of your Dog. one of your three orbs to come back. Dog. Never mind that arena wasn't actually arena, but we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. That's yeah, arena yeah. Was scary. No, I, I, I never went. I never went. I went one time. I was severely put in my place. I never went again. Good. <laughs> Good because fucking arena <laughs> arena was where the goddamn like the the real whales of the game hung out at for real for real. Cause the like, AOE. Yeah, cuz like 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 one of uh, well, not one of one of the many awards you could get from ranking up in arena was mm-hmm. shit that'd be like, "Oh, all stats plus 70%, all stats plus 50%, and you gain an extra hit on your normal attacks and shit. And it's like, dog, there's no way someone can do this in a reasonable amount of time without cashing. That's about right. That's about right. What was it? Tears. I'm, I'm, I bet you, I'm I bet Genshin, like, learn from this. Okay, they okay. learned, they said, nah, nah, we gotta make them pay, you know, we gotta make them we gotta make them pay for it, you know what I mean? Shit, they had to. Cause cause ain't no way I watch look I I I can't say that I capped out my arena rank. I did get very fairly close to it. Mm-hmm. But getting there was was hard. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, it was it was ridiculously hard because the uh, when they started releasing their um oh fuck, their uh 
their their unit series where it was like they are centered around arena and shit. Mm-hmm. I was like, bro, how am I supposed to do this? I'm talking like, oh hey, match loaded up. Oh hey, I'm dead because I didn't get the first turn. Yeah, that's about right. That's, that's shit, about right. That shit had me tweaking so hard. That's about right. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, like I found I found one of the um one of the the spears you get from arena um mm-hmm. trying to show it on screen real quick yeah um but like like this shit oh that is huge let me uh let me let me let me fix that real quick oh my god i remember that spear dude yeah because like this one this one required you to not only do arena but you had to do a whole bunch of extra shit and then you had to, and then you had to make this particular sphere and whatever. And it's like, man, this is a really good sphere, but I'm not finna do all this shit, bro. Oh no, definitely not. That, mm, like, for me, like, here's the thing: I'm not like when I do MMOs or like gotcha games like this, I I start to like slowly wade my way into the deep. So I think at the time I wasn't that far in deep, but then like I knew that there were some like effects and like some like crystals and stuff that you could get but then i kept seeing like the, the arenas and like how hard like pulling and summoning was and i just said you know what i'm here for a fun time i just want to see all the sparkles there we go i'm content because that looks difficult fuck no i'm right? good thank you that was my basis for playing the game after i got my actual phones because like I, the game was shit like uh, let's mm-hmm. not sure you it the game was shit mm-hmm. but God, man, those devs did fantastic work on the sprites and just how they the did. game looked. Like it they was did. a fantastic job. They yeah. did. I will admit, it's like they're. I feel like the way that they drew the whole characters and everything, like, is their own signature. Because, like, you know, like the only game in this world who doesn't have a mouth, and like, who's like, I guess, I don't know. It feels kind of more. I want to say pixel art, but it's like, it's like retro ish. Not too much shine, but just enough sparkles to make it, you know, make it special. So yeah. Like it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, that's another thing, too. And I, and I guess this will, like, lead into, you know, the, the, the art style, like, the lore part of the mm-hmm. conversation. Like, what tripped me up is that in all of their art, they don't have mouths, right? So, <laughs> when they, um, when they put in the, uh, like, like, uh, the, the bestiary and then the summary uh, tab mm-hmm. in the main menu i'm looking at them and my immediate thought before i started looking at anything was how do they eat oh, stop it. <laughs> i'm, I'm oh, dead at, i'm stop. so serious i was like how the fuck do they eat oh my god buddy you, you're ruining the immersion man <laughs> you're ruining the immersion just accept it- Hey man, they don't gotta eat because they already did. No, bro, we, oh, we, okay. we, we gonna get there. We we gonna get there because that that shit to this to this day to this day still got me pressed, right? And like 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 the the only what's also crazy, right? Is like th- this is going back to the mouth shit. The only <laughs> fucking character in the game that has an in-game mouth that opens and closes in their uh-huh. sprite work. Was um that that the little beast beast like Zelgar? He was a fire type, had Wolverine claws, and like when he gets to swinging, um his last thing is that he shouts, he opens his mouth, closes his mouth, finishes his attack, and I'm like, that's cool. Where's everybody else's? Oh, stop. oh my god! <laughs> yeah, it was um, real bad. I'm I'm I'm, yeah. I'm gonna scroll through the wiki see if I can find bro real quick. Yeah, cause the thing about it though, which was weird, was that like. For every humanoid character, they never had mouse. But um, while you're looking, there's also like other characters, like for example, Divine Dragon. Like obviously, they gotta give that character a mouth because it's a fucking dragon. Yeah. But <laughs> like every humanoid character, or even like the fused, like uh, what, what was that one guy's name? Cardin, whatever that one that one six star dude who was like a villain that you could fight in like the trials. Like Cardin. when you got his unit, like he was like way like fucking like a monster or something like that oh but he no, didn't have a mouth either you mean um no oh no he, he he was a light unit he had proper hair he was kind of a meg i know i know exactly who you're talking about yeah him and another one i can't think of the other guy 
Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, the only ones that I can, that, like I can remember off the top of my head that had mouths were like the sprites you had to uh you had to sacrifice to uh. Yo, to... yo, wait, wait, you right though. Yo, shit. Yeah, <laughs> they're the only ones that have fucking mouths, bro. That's no mouth crazy. <laughs> That's like, crazy for real. Yeah, I'm looking at it. I'm like, wait, why does the slime have a fucking mouth? Even the water little tadpole looking thing has a mouth in it. Yeah, everything but the actual fucking people. Yeah, right? I was like, I. Right, that's some. I mean, that's a stylistic choice, I guess. But hey, no. okay. Right now, 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 zero. You, you, you mentioned, you mentioned, you know, they're already dead in the lore, right? <laughs> now I'm a. I, I'm a fucking lore guy, right? Now, yeah. for, 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 for ages, right? This is before I started getting in, in, into my lore bag. Mm-hmm. I didn't really know much of anything about the lore outside of, like, the main story for the game. Mm-hmm. And so, like, I, it was like, uh, there, there were so many areas. It was like the second second half of the game. And then, like, we was we was going to take out some demon general guy or whatever. But the game was telling me a story, and it's one of the characters was like, "Yeah, you know, us summoners, we 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 call upon the 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 the, the, the spirits of old and shit." And I'm like, I was like, kind of like a like a Pokemon kind of thing, right? Oh, now, no, 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 I didn't, I didn't really get what that meant until later on in the story it just flat out says yeah we're summoning the spirits of old dead heroes to fight at our side and deal with this shit i was like oh they're dead damn that's kind of metal and shit and then then they put out the uh the the little bestiary thing so i started Mm -hmm. i started reading reading some character stories and shit and there was one fucking sentence that kept showing up in every single goddamn unit story right so what i'm like it? i'm like damn who is this guy it, it it always it i i'm not gonna quote it verbatim but it says something on the lines of yeah they were defeated by the hands of this holy knight and i'm like who the fuck is this guy bro killing all my people dog so we find out who he is during the main story and i'm like wait a minute wait a minute you mean to tell me and i'm doing the fucking the the fucking old person like jagged point shit you (laughs) mean to tell me that these cool ass strong ass people was being taken out by this bitch ass motherfucking night guy this dude he has a name, you know, it's Ark, you know. I was getting oh there. <laughs> was, and I'm like, like, or could uh, cause that that's what tripped me up too. I'm like, you know, he could have had like a baller ass name, but you go with Ark. Like I mean, Ark ain't that bad. I mean in 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 the in 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 the context of of, of the story. He could have had a way cooler name, cause you got you got shit like like Raquel, Nadoria, you got Janice, you got you got fucking Lauda, Aurelia. Those are cool ass names. And then you got oh, Ark, like fuck fucking Noah's Ark type bullshit. That <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that, shit, that, that shit had me so pressed, and I'm I'm never never gonna let it go. I'm never gonna let that shit go. But like, Slayer of gods, people who who slaying all the heroes. What's his name? Ark. Mm-hmm. Just <gasps> almost like Arf. Right. <gasps> Ark. Like, bro, Arf. come on. And then, like, like the other thing that pissed me off, right, is that you know, as they were, you know, going through the story and telling us more and more shit, I'm like, so why is he going around? And killing all the people that are trying to stop the world from being torn apart and shit. Come to find out. And I'm never going to let you come to find out. Oh, my girl died. And this dude was like, oh, I can bring him back. But you got to take these people out. Huh? Oh, that's not. (laughs) Oh. Like, shit. 
shit pissed me off so much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm just like, bro, these people are trying to save the world, doing everything in their power to mm -hmm. prevent the gods from getting too into their bag. And he's stopping all that just so he can hit again. Like, dog. Hey, man, it's his girlfriend. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> his game was weak. He only had her, bro. Yeah, like, I mean, he, he liked her. He was like, you know, I see a future. Skill and issue. Like oh, my God. <laughs> Skill um. issue. Because, like, like. Like well, what also tripped me up is like for the for the longest time, right? This this was mm -hmm. before they started updating the uh, the uh, uh the title screen and shit. Yeah, it was always well not this particular art, but it was him and it was her on the screen for like the login screen for like yeah, bro, dude. Oh, dude, 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 I see dude, dude. it. Oh my yeah. God. yeah, it was it was him. It was her who at first I thought the uh girl was uh the Maria chick, the one of the uh honor summons who's on like the banner for the honor summons. Uh -huh. I thought it was her, but no, it was her instead. And then it was like this weird, like this big ass like ox looking monster. Like yeah, man, I'm see wait, let me see if I can one, bro. Oh my god. Wait, let me see if I can uh, save in me. And and then like and then like like you know, you go through all this shit and he's like yeah, well, you see, the gods tasked me with doing all this because he promised to bring back my girl. And looking back now, and and I think he's, I think he says, um, not necessarily word for word, but like, yeah, I realized that I shouldn't have followed the gods like command. And I'm looking at my at my iPod like, it took you this fucking long to realize that. Oh, <laughs> I mean, he did it for love. Dog for love. Fuck that. Can you say, all right, well, <laughs> all right, well, okay, well. You wouldn't kill six of the most famous heroes and many others to get your lover back, bro? Fuck Look, no. Really, yeah, like, I don't know these heroes. I know my girlfriend more. That's not my problem. These bozos. <laughs> I spit like two. I <laughs> I'm not, I'm, listen, listen, listen. Pe uh -huh. pe people who know who I am know that I can be a fucking hater. Uh -huh. But I'm not gonna do no shit like that all because God was like, "Hey, dog, I could bring your girl back for you." Oh, where what I gotta do? Go kill some people you don't know trying to save the world. Excuse me, huh? Me? Nah, I'm say good. Less. I'm huh? Say less. You tweaking? Say less. You tweaking? Oh but like, and and then and then the other part right is that. Brave Frontier, like the story of Brave Frontier One, happens like, like some some amount of time in the future, after Ark has killed the 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 the, the very important people, and I mean this this is like 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 hundreds of years ago. So, bro, look like he's in like his thirties. I I guarantee, without a shadow of a doubt, bro, gotta be at least. At least eight hundred years old. Oh boy! Cause ain't no way. And then, and then like, and then what's what's also crazy is that when 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 you fight him like multiple times and shit, but then it was it's like this one time that you beat him, and then the god Car well that that particular god Karna Masta comes down and is like, hey bro, you a bitch. I don't need your help no more. He's like, huh? And then he goes into into his fucking Sasuke bag, fucking dark arc type oh. shit, bro. <laughs> oh, uh, it was so irritating. But like, oh, I see it. Story story wise, it made sense. Gameplay wise, I fucking hated it because and and now perfect segue into the get into the gameplay shit. That was when. The seven stars started coming out a dime a dozen, and we entered the fucking Omni era of units. Seven oh, stars, man. bruh. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, seven but, stars. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fucking okay. No, nah, they they cannot. You're breaking the rule. You're breaking the rule. Cause you 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 cannot have more than five. I mean, if anything, maybe like what S, 
are, I guess. But like, you you're breaking the rules of of any MMORPG. Tell me seven stars. Yeah, and they they did that shit proudly, cause like, cause like when when <clears throat> when I well when Zero and I first started playing the game, it was like mm-hmm. like like mid five star era, and yeah. then later on came the six stars, and then the seven stars, and then the Omni, and then after that, because there was like. We can't really come up with any more evolutions, but we can come up with ways to make them stronger. Okay, how? Omni plus one. Omni plus two. Omni oh, plus three. And it's stop. like, what That's the so, fuck is That's this? So stupid. And like, like, shit got so crazy to where if some some events... No, fuck, fuck having the featured banner if you didn't have like the stats wall to survive you were just fucked because because that's when shit would that, that was when shit required like you have to have an omni plus one to even enter the fucking thing because i remember i, I remember when that shit dropped and there was like this is how you do it yada 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 the event that came with it it was like hey Here's free extra Omni evolution material after you already have an Omni. And then here's this thing that you can do, but you have to have Omni plus units. And then on top of that, that was one of many events where it was like, oh, if you don't have the featured banner unit, you're fucked. You're not going to win skill issue L plus ratio. Don't even bother entering. Oh my God. And oh. that that that's that's when people started quitting in droves and shit. Because that really wasn't a problem in like the six star days, but like like late to 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 end game seven star early omni, that's when the shit started being like, oh hey. You didn't get the feature unit. Guess who's not winning? Hee <laughs> hee. Oh my god. Yeah, it used to be like I remember because at least in the early days, it was really just a matter of trying to figure out how to do it and how to balance your items and stuff. Uh, when it when you got to the seven and Omni Star era, it really just became: Do you have a bunch of fusion potions? Do you are you willing to like? Just pull, 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 pull for potential multiple copies, making sure that your units, like, especially, like, for some units, like, for example, like, let's take Mifune, for example. If Mifune was Guardian, throw him away. Just <laughs> yo, him yo, away. facts. Because <laughs> oh. literally, like, some units were built to be specific types, because you, because I think the types, it was Lord, Breaker, Guardian, Guardian, Anima, and I think, what were the fi- what fifth one? It was like regents of the because it boosts your like, oh, yeah. it, 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 it was it was a Guardian. it was a hidden type called Rex that that <laughs> came into the game when we all quit hilariously enough. Ooh, it was Ooh. bad. But yeah, no, like if your units were specific, weren't that one those types that were oriented for them. Then you kind of had to throw them in the trash. But what got even worse was that because I remember doing like these specific events. It was it was one event where it was like you have to do a specific amount of damage in three turns, and then you have to have this very specific unit's damage mitigation, and you can't use any other unit's damage mitigation. Otherwise, you're just dead. Oh and that was yeah. Just like, what the fuck? I, you know what? Let me see if I can find it. Oh yeah, I can see that. I can see that. I think uh, I saw a lot of that during the arena. Like, I wasn't obviously strong enough to do, like, you know, the high tier stuff. But, like, I noticed that there were some, like, there were some units where if you didn't have it and you weren't able to create enough damage and, like, in a specific amount of turns before, like, the AOE from the other team kicks in. Yeah, you're, you're done. Um, mm-hmm. it's not, it's not worth trying to even dodge or even guard. No. Yeah, you know you, <laughs> you know you're in Me. trouble when fucking guarding doesn't even help you. And not guard, yes, I was like, dude. fuck. Like they literally just like it was like enraged. It was enraged timer. It was like specific enraging Dog. timers for very for like 
fifty percent. Well, because you at, at some point you didn't even know the HP, dude. HP percent wasn't even a thing in the game for like like four years. Yes. Mm-hmm. So you had to loot. So you out here taking your rulers, like mm, let me see. Uh, is this uh-uh. uh, bro. This is fifty one percent. Okay, let's go. Let's not do that just yet. Like it, it was stupid. Yeah, like like we re- we was really out here in the trenches having to guess like. Is this fifty percent? Is this eighty percent? Is this thirty percent? Like, like shit was so stupid. Cause, cause there, there oh, was, yeah. there, there was you plenty, right. plenty an event where it mm. was just like, like hard, not even skill checks. It was just DPS checks. And again, like, do you have insert unit here that has this extremely specific mechanic? And if you have that, you're good. You might win but like if you had multiple copies of that unit oh you would just hand it the win on a silver fucking platter like 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 fuck trying bro like i remember i remember when 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 seven star era happened and like like halfway through the life cycle of it it was like like one very specific event that was like if you do not have this un this one unit specifically for their ultimate brave burst you are not going to win because in order to push the fucking thing from one percent to zero it was like hey use this like it, it, it was like it, it it was like a like like a like a hp gate literally an oh. hp gate but worse yeah but way worse <laughs> way way fucking worse and like like I I dead ass did not beat that event until the final fucking day where I finally got the damn unit and I was like, oh I don't like this. And then it just got worse. Yeah, I got like a little bit of a website. Like I just picked like a random so like Fiendish Fantasy, ser- sorry, Servants of Shadows, Navarus, the Heart Stealer. If insert unit was defeated. Passively instantly defeats all units. Oh my god. Severus was defeated. <laughs> passively instantly defeats all units. Turn Bruh. two and turn three and turn two and every three turns onwards. Energy drain. One hit AoE attack and adds a hundred percent chance to attack to drain fifty percent of damage as HP effects itself for one turn. Let's see. No, Let's that's some other stuff. No, that's shit, not fair. shit like that was OD as hell. Oh my god. And I'm gonna look for another one. Let's see. And fucking somehow survived that shit. Like it, it's it, it's it's nothing compared to the well the, the the gotchas that the zero and I play now, which is the city of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. Nothing compared mm-hmm. to that shit. But like, like it's it's just crazy how the the power creep was so absurd that it was just. You're not winning, bro. Like, like I, I, I knew people, and I, I still talk to them very loosely to this day. But like, I knew people who dead ass quit the game entirely because of that shit. Yeah, like for me, the reason why I stopped was because it was just like, I mean, I get it. Like, you know, the main part of like a gotcha game is like to you know, and your players to like really want to upgrade their units. You know, make them sometimes maybe wail a little bit on some things you know but if you take it to the extreme where it's you know if you can't if you if you don't have this like one unit then like winning this just for even your self-entertainment is not gonna be possible then i'm like i don't want to i don't want to be like so sad that i can't even like do an arena without being like fucking bodied one hit ko because i don't have this or that right like I I remember, and and this is this I remember fucking <clears throat> when the um when 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 the uh, the last part of the second half of the game like the first half of the story um came to an end and you had to fight you know the big bad uh Karna Master God and shit that for for a story based fight there was no god damn reason why that fight was as hard as it was like you 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 literally needed a team of 
of of omnis that had a very specific like kit like you need you needed healing you needed mitigate no 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 you needed healing you needed regen you needed regular mitigation elemental mitigation crit mitigation and it's like jesus christ this is a story fight why do i feel like i'm doing every single event in the game combined <laughs> like Funny, like like shit was so ridiculous and then on top of that you had to use bitch ass arc as a, <laughs> a as a fucking mandatory friend uh unit because you needed to use his ultimate brave burst, otherwise you just weren't winning every single phase. It was three goddamn phases. Oh Jesus Christ! If I if I had a machine that I could like plug into my head and replay the stress that shit put me through, that could be a YouTube video in and of itself. Dude, I just okay. So I just found um the the this is the fight. That like actively made me just dislike this game to like all hell and back. Okay, so mm. let's see. So I'm about to read off the Curse Master event. This was like so for some reason they decided to like put battles from the second Brave Frontier into the first Brave Frontier because they knew the second Brave Frontier was that bad. But anyways, yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right, time to read. This is hard mode. The Curse Master Eliza, which Sprite was goaded by the way. All right. Enemies move first. Every turn, the following buffs are applied to the enemies if they are remaining on the field. Curse Master Eliza will have 100% mitigation for 99 turns if all allies are not defeated. This is not applied in Phase 3. Necromancer's Defilement will add 25% Dark Elemental Spark buff to allies for 2 turns and 100% chance to inflict 50% Spark vulnerability, crit damage vulnerability, elemental damage vulnerability on foes for 2 turns. Necromancer's Horn will add a stackable 15% attack for 99 turns, stackable 1% defense, recovery for 2 turns, and adds all elements to attacks for 2 turns. Necromancer's Vi Vitality will heal Curse Master Elza for, let's see, this is 2 million. 2 million HP every turn. Oh my god. Every 3 turns, whenever all allies are defeated, he revives his allies. Let's see. Let's find some other really crazy stuff. Dark Pierce, one hit strong AoE attack that pierces a hundred percent mitigation. Dog. Bro, that's pretty. No, that's not normal. One hit AoE attack with innate a hundred percent crit and purges evasion effect from foes. Dog, I remember the evasion buff being in it. that shit was so ridiculous. One curtain call, one hit single target attack on the marked unit that got marked by uh, like a taunt move that pierces 99, 999 mitigation, inflicts doom debuff for one turn and purges red mark effect. Units affected by doom cannot be revived for three turns. Nah, 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 that's that's too much. That's his first phase had 5,500,000 HP. Oh. He had an attack that. That could inf uh where it like the text will pop up. So turn three and every eight turns onwards in phase one, if his allies are still alive, inflicts 25% max HP reduction for three turns. Blaze inflicts 45,000 fixed damage and purges evasion mitigation, all elemental mitigation effects from foes. Will be used once per turn for the next two turns, guarding units. With uh, and this is just a recommendation, by the way, guarding units with less than forty-five thousand HP is highly recommended. Or using ultimate brave burst with angel idol effect. Dire wave one hit AOE attack with innate nine hundred and ninety-nine crit. Oh His phase two had for some reason seven million three hundred and thirty-three thousand three hundred HP. Let's see. Let's see if I can find some more. Oh, oh! by the way, his phase 3 had 22 million HP, by the way. See, so in total, he had roughly, uh, quick maths, like 35 million HP. In a game. Ugh, Jesus, man. That shit don't make no sense, bro. Like. The first phase still has me throwing out a loop. What the fuck? Nah, <laughs> man. Nah. Yeah, like, 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 to, to. To, to pivot for just a moment, right? Zero and I, we play a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Mm -hmm. We also do quite a bit of rating 
on that game. There's no fucking reason why an event, a timed event, mind you, on a gotcha game is as mechanically in-depth as a fucking raid in an MMO. Like, oh. like, that shit, that, just, reading that shit off gave me an aneurysm, dog. Like, like, Jesus Christ. And then, and on top of that, right, well, now, now, to, to be f fair to the game, it was possible to be able to have, like, 45,000 base health in a fight and being able to pump out uh, absurd uh, damage numbers like that. However, when you have shit like like this on a team and whatever and 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 you have to have like you have to have like really cracked out spheres you gotta have good types you gotta make sure like the bonus stats are capped out you gotta make sure you pick the quote-unquote right um uh omni passive buffs on them and shit and like zero said earlier you gotta manage your items well and shit it was damn near impossible if you didn't meet one of however many requirements i just fucking said you want to know something even funnier what what i was scrolling down for a little bit and this is something that happens within let's see phase three the second turn of the phase and every eight turns afterwards a suffocating aura sets in any of the four moves can be used, or quotes can be said. The aura attempts to seal leader skills. 40% chance to invalidate leader skill effects for two turns. The aura attempts to seal extra skills. 40% chance to invalidate extra skill effects for two turns. The aura attempts to seal spears. 40% chance to invalidate spear effects for two turns. The aura attempts to seal everything. 75% chance to invalidate leader skills, extra skills, and spears for three turns. No, I refuse. <laughs> uh, no. Um, no, I refuse. You can't make me fight that. Who the fuck? You tell me that if, okay, an aura says that's fine, cool, whatever. So the, it's like a randomizer. I could, I could, dude, I could be playing. I could be so close to winning. And then it hits me up with the, what, aura attempts to seal everything. 75. 75 is close to 90. And 90 is close to 100. I don't know about you. <laughs> but I yeah. like to think I'm going to get fucked over. I don't trust my luck that well. Uh-uh. No, fucking, fucking, when, because, because I, 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 I never ever beat this fucking event because it 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 was like God decided to piss on my RNG every fucking time I got close to winning because whenever I was about to win, it'd say, "Oh, the aura attempts to seal everything." I just close the game. I said, "Fuck it." Nope. To be honest, then you can't come back from that. You're that's like almost every fucking skill. You have a leader skill, extra skill, speed effects. I'm like, all right. Literally, I can't do shit. Because, like, my damage would go from, like, you know, multiple tens of thousands and hundred thousands to one. Like, bro, fuck am I supposed to do about that, dog? Like, what? like my stats, gone. My survivability, gone. A chance to res, gone. Chance to negate death, gone. Guarding, might as well not even fucking do it. Like, I, you, you, you... You took away my ability to play the game, and that 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 is ultimately like like and and there's more shit we can joke and meme about and whatever. But mm -hmm. what led to Brave Frontier's ultimate fucking downfall was the mm -hmm. fact that there were so many events and so many mechanics that took away your ability to play the game, and people mm. reasonably got tired of that shit. So they was like, "We're not gonna do this anymore." And they quit. Yeah, understandable. Like, that's what I was saying. Like, I mean, it's good for there to be like a challenge. Like, you don't want a game to be so, but like at the same token, you don't want it to make it so like tricky and challenging. You like literally only like the top like 
seven or five percent of the people who play the game will win it whereas the rest of like the freaking uh, what 80 percent of people are like well i die you know yeah. it's not fun it was just bad like I, and i just cope because i'm like the units are so pretty though i want to play this still oh my god yeah, it's so good. like yeah. oh my god so much nostalgia oh my god bro dog oh my god i remember getting this unit oh my god yeah but it's like you play any current event and you're just like Fuck. all right <laughs> you're like all right i i see why i forgot i hate this mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right like oh my god like i was i i was uh i was in a uh discord with the homies well, yeah, after the Skype days, I was in mm-hmm. Discord with the homies, and we was doing some fucking event and shit, and like, like, like dead ass. I, it was some event where the boss had a chance of not just like taking away your leader extra skill and your spheres. It was like, oh yeah, by the way, you also can't attack. That shit happened. That hurts. Oh man, that shit that happened hurts. one time. And I wish I had a recording of it so I could play it, but that shit happened. And I was like, all right, y'all, I'm going to get my piece out the back. I'll see y'all in the afterlife. Peace out the back. He said, oh, my God. That shit had me so twisted. I, I, I damn near uninstalled the game at that very moment. Like, Understandable. Like, I mean... Cause, cause on top of that, right? I was doing the fight for like damn near an hour, and Yo, it was just I'd like be sweating. My thumbs would hurt. <laughs> yeah, like, like, oh, like it. It was crazy, cause, cause I was doing it for so long to where the point where like my iPod was starting to give me temperature warnings. Oh, because, buddy, that's not... cause like, like I charged up to one hundred percent. Play that mm-hmm. bitch till it got to like. Like like thirty, put it back on a charger. Take it off the charger. Chick got so crazy. To where like like I don't remember what it was saying, but it was like it's it's getting like dangerously out to the point where it's about to shut off. I literally put my iPod in the fucking freezer so it could cool off. <laughs> Damn, that's real struggle times. I'm committed to this game, bro. This you're not gonna stop me, iPod. You're not gonna stop me, Apple. Bro, like, like that ass. I was committed. I'm like, I'm gonna get this fucking W no matter what I do. And the game was like, no, actually, eat shit. <laughs> like, you will not be winning this day. And like, like another crazy thing that happened is um uh the 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 thing that Zero just finished reading off earlier with the with the the, the curse master shit, right? Mm-hmm. I knew I knew some of the, the like the long time like big time money spenders the whales of the game and shit and like six of them quit all at the same time when the fucking oh yeah the 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 what's the name seals everything shit happened consistently and it was like i'm not playing this fucking game anymore bro and 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 you know this goes for like any game that has a microtransaction system or whatever but like if the whales of a gotcha game all be like, yeah, we're quitting at the same time, you fucked up. You fucked up crazy. You fucked up heavy. Yeah, to be honest, because it was just really unfair. Like, it, it was so unfair. You're telling me, like, I mean, I get it. You know, you want to make the most powerful, like, you know, raid or dungeon ever. That's cool. But make it make sense. You don't, like, don't you want your players to, like, Say, ooh, I beat this one. It was super easy, but you had to figure out what you had to do and stuff like that. Not, oh, it was so hard. I didn't even, I didn't even go into that dungeon. That means with the, all, all that work you did for that one dungeon, gone. Right. It was so, but yet it was just, you just wanted to keep trying it. Like, ooh, I can beat this eventually, or. Oh, I really want this one use. Let me just pull a little bit more. Let me try and see if I can do these frontier hunts. Because the frontier hunts gave so many good rewards. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. The, the, the frontier hunter shit, that, that, was, that was my favorite event of, like, all time in the game. Because it was like, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't piss easy, but it wasn't too high. It was, like, the perfect sweet spot of balance. And, 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 and like Zero said, it gave so much shit, you know, it gave, it gave money, 
it gave karma it gave good spheres it gave um uh, when uh, when the uh, when the little L gift shits came out, you could add extra skills on top of an extra skill to a unit and shit. Um, uh, it gave it gave evolution material. It gave gems, and that shit happened like every month too. So you had like a steady cycle of good shit. But then they made a a a a trial version of Frontier Hunter that never came back for a good reason because it was like like you needed to have uh, like you, you were not getting in without Omni units like it just wouldn't let you in and then you needed at least like one Omni plus one unit and shit and then you needed like you know yourself as a player character in the team. Oh my team. god, I think I remember that. I never got to do it because I never actually got to that fucking point. I never yeah. got the player character. And then like like on top of that, right? On top of having to use yourself in game, like I gotta, I'm I'm displaying the screenshot, um, of my of you know my player character uh, on screen right now and shit. Ah. Like like you had you had to finish third arc, and then you had to get your character. To a point where you were considered an omni class rarity character and shit. And then you could do the thing. That shit was. Mm. That shit was so absurdly difficult that I beat it once and never did it again. And that event never came back for very good reason. Because on top of the fact that. There weren't a lot of people that even started third arc, let alone finished it, to where they grinded to where their character was considered an omni class unit and had good stats, good weapons, all that shit. That was asking for way, way too much. But that was like, oh hey, yeah, here's a thing. Really good rewards, guys, but uh have fun suffering. It's like, bitch, who is you? Why don't you do this shit? Like, like you can you you can really tell that they really didn't play test their own shit. Like, they really didn't. They like, really didn't. like it's 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 crazy how so much of the shit would have would have been more well received if it had just like been played by actual people and not just oh hey. Here's the thing that's hard that people have asked for a hard event. Here you go. Like, dog, y'all, y'all bugging a little bit too overdid much. It. They overdid it. For real. Much. Yeah, it was just like, the thing about it, right, was just that you're doing it and you're just like, like, back then, right, you're just like, wow, this is so tough, man. Like, this has to be like some of the hardest events you can do for like mobile games and stuff like that. It's just like, Wow, but then afterwards, now that we're here, now that we're older, now that we know what good games actually are, you're looking at it back like this is just fucking unfair. Like I can talk about this right now, right? So currently in Defo, there is a Deshiva Spiritus. Each boss has roughly around 200 million HP, which technically isn't a lot because characters can deal a hundred million if you set it up properly in the global version. And the boss has a lot of mechanics. And it's like, either you use this very specific set of calls, call abilities, like bring in people to like do one hit and then leave right back out, or you just pull the featured unit, which is Edgar from Final Fantasy VI. It's not completely unfair. It's a tough event, but it's not unfair. You're not, for the most part, you won't just get straight wiped out and you don't need to pull on the event. For Brave Frontier, it was either pull or just suffer as much as humanly possible, or you just don't do the event and you just skip it. But if you skip it, you're going to miss out on this really good spear, which could carry you for, like, majority of the game. Or just just cope, just see. Like, I don't know. Like, it just it n- never struck the, ba- the fine line of difficult, but fair. It never did. Right. Never did. Mm-mm. Like, like another another thing going going back to the um to the fairness shit, right? And this this is the this is this is going back to the arena shit. Like, 
when they released their arena like centered series of units and shit mm-hmm. and then they put out their coliseum oriented series of units and shit i mean like like on paper it was cool as shit because it was like oh you know you get extra arena points and their stats increase specifically in arena or like uh like 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 normal hit increase for arena and shit and i'm like yeah this is awesome and then like then you had (laughs) who you had the fire girl like with the rockets and shit and then you had and then you had the the water girl you had every element for every insert girl with massive fucking gun here right and then it was like if you have all of them on a team you can gain like an increased rate of uh of uh, arena in 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 coliseum points and shit but like fighting them fighting them dog dog it's a death sentence it was it was if if the game did not decide to take mercy on you for going first you just lost it was it was a guaranteed fucking loss because um one 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 of the one of the girls had like um a chance to inflict ailment with normal attacks and chance to make uh normal attacks hit all enemies and pl- okay. plus uh like one or two to hit count and shit Bruh, that's not it. right so like like and because you always started in a, an arena match with like no meter at all and shit it was just like okay who's going first is it them ggs ggs cope see them all skill issue didn't spend I mean, enough it was, was kind of scary when you had the chance to start because like you my oh man i don't know why but there were some there were some whalers in the game Oh my god like they, they, they you would see the whole other side just decked out five star five star five star occasional seven star i'm like is this and then it's like oh you can you, you can go ahead and do the first attack i'm sitting here like dude i'm pretty sure my attack does like at least 200 or at least one damage so i don't want to play anymore i'm good thank <laughs> you yo for real like <laughs> like uh the other the other day when uh zero and i was heading to the gym and we stopped the subway we was talking about how like um uh, the 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 same series of units I mean, girls with huge fucking guns i was talking mm-hmm. about right i it only happened a, a a handful of times and shit but there was a time where i got into an arena fight with an exact copy of my team with like same hp probably same attack stats and whatever the fuck and we ran out the fucking timer. And oh, I so I barely fucking won because it, it it ultimately came down to a 1v1, water versus water and shit. We're constantly hitting each other with ailments and shit. And I clutched out the win because I had 100 more HP than the other person. Dude. And I was like, that's, this... That's clutch mode. That's clutch mode. Clutch as hell. But at the same yeah. time, I was like, this is a fucking mistake. And, <laughs> a half. and then it got even worse in goddamn Coliseum, because, because, because they were, you know, in Coliseum, it was like, okay, well, you know, blah, 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 boosted effects, or like, um, like if you had the right sphere set up, you could, you, you could start the fucking round with your Brave Burst ready to go. And I'm like, dude, this is so unfairly unbalanced and shit and then they tried to have like like elemental based coliseum events and shit and then they changed it to where you, you could like pick who you wanted to fight and shit but oh even then God, it dude. was still unbalanced because like like you pick someone and you look at their leader character stats and you you, you think you think that oh yeah i have a chance to beat them load them to the match a whole team of fucking mafunes mm-hmm Mm-hmm. Like some of the characters looked very cute. They I like I was I was that one dumbass who was like, you know, I'm seeing all these like decked out 
shiny ass sprites. I'm like, oh, they're so shiny, but they're gonna beat my ass. But they're so shiny, man. I, I was having fun with it. I was having fun with it, even though I was gonna die. But I was having fun with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That's I was there just raging. I'm like, dog, like, come on, dude. Like, he, he had a Mithune and and four frogs, dude. How could I lose? Like, right. Yeah. Oh. oh. No, nah, some no. Nah, okay, I remember like there were some people who would just like to troll. So like they would have like the strongest fucking character, and then like have like freaking like, three tadpoles in their party. I'm like, you're 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 being mean, and I don't know why you're being mean. So, okay, they were they were being mean. They would have like one or two very strong characters, and like the rest of the party would be like these like slimes or something. And I'm like, all right, well. That's it's not my fault that I can't get the character you have. So hurting my feelings, but all right, that's cool. Like, like shit was just shit, shit, shit like that. Just, just really like, like, like if if I opened up Brave from Ten, like I'm gonna do arena today. Lo and see some sees some shit like Yuki just described. I'm like, nope, not doing that shit today. Mm-mm. Not at all. You- I love the fact that you could just like close app and then just have all your spears. So you could literally just keep closing app, waiting for t- and hoping that you get an actual like decent fighting chance against somebody. Right, like fucking. I remember it. It 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 was Mifune and it was some other dude. But he had a big ass sword, but he and Mifune had like 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 you know the 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 dreaded one hit normal attack and the one hit brave burst and super brave burst and shit. Mm-hmm. And then, like, 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 heaven, heaven forbid that they had like a sphere or an extra passive that made their attack not a chance. It made their normal attacks hit everything, and, and them bitches sparked each other. You were just like, oh, oh hey, oh, no. it's been two seconds, and I'm already dead. Fuck. Oh man. However, however, to get to give Mifune his fucking credit, he is the only unit in the whole damn game to mm-hmm. not get a seven star. He he was so fucking cool. He went from two star to three star to four star to five okay. star to six star to fuck a seven star. Give me my Omni. Yeah, bro, that shit was gas, my like, bro, man. Yeah, that's nice, that's nice. You get to see the character grow before your eyes, then. That, that, that shit was cool. The best part cool about shit. it, though, was that, like, he was, like, one of the few Omnis that, like, he didn't have, like, he didn't have, like, the super, super ultra particle effects, but, like, he went from, like, the super dragon, like, dead, but then he had, like, the, like, the whole arm thing, like, you had him on the screen, or, like, he had the whole arm thing, like, his progression from six star to Omni was good, like, Again, I can't overstate it. The art in that game rocked, dude. Like it slayed. That shit was gas. Mm-hmm. <sighs> there like, were times where I was like, it's a little bit like um cluttered, but like it's not. It's cluttered in a way that like you can see where the flow of like how they're drawing it is like. So like sometimes you'll see more swirls or you'll see more gaps and spaces and stuff like that. I liked it for that. Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cause like 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 well, I, well I, since, since we're talking about art design and Mifune, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna redisplay the uh, the wiki screen real quick, and we're, we're we're just gonna we're just gonna go down the line and shit, right? So <laughs> let, let let let's start with his you know his base form, you know fucking bum ass looking dude, you know hobo. I I ain't got shit the actual fucking hobo. <laughs> I think he was in the lore too. Yeah. Actually, yeah, he he might have been a fucking hobo back in his day. He was he he was a strong hobo though, <laughs> like like bum ass hobo ass looking dude. Um, <laughs> people shitty leader skill slept on for real. Which by the way, right? Do you, you, you do let's remember that leader skills initially was like you know one sentence things like small boost to this oh or boost God. to crystal drop rate to or or like 25% boost to insert element here it went from 
that okay wait i'm gonna skip ahead i'm gonna, I'm gonna skip ahead jump straight to the omni just just to read his fucking mm-hmm. leader skill right but it went from from basic shit like that like one sentence things to <clears throat> 150 percent uh, boost to attack 100 percent boost to spark damage probable defense is doing fake and it's like it absorbs hp <laughs> like <laughs> like dog <laughs> like I mean all that bro just give me my attack up like literally <laughs> now 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 back to you know the 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 evolution art of Mufune, right? You went from regular bum ass looking Mufune to yeah, I could see him being somebody's fucking bodyguard. Like, yeah, who piece somebody up real quick? That sword is kinda of a little spooky though. But like, yeah, he looks cool. Right? And and yeah. and as you said as a resident artist here, right, you know, things yeah. change and you see like the 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 progression and however like as evolution went on, as you said, they do like really contribute to screen clutter and whatever. Mm. Cause I couldn't, I couldn't find a screenshot of, like me being in a fight and shit. But like I remember, there was just so much shit on screen. I'm like, damn, what's even happening anymore, right? Mm-hmm. And speaking of it shit being bad. bigger, yeah. Look at look at how bi- big Mufune's fucking sword is <laughs> in his goddamn <laughs> four star, bro. It's this so. Awesome. That mm. fucking useless ass arm plate too, dude. Like, right? Like, what the fuck was that for, bro? You ain't got no damn defense. Oh my god. Like aesthetically, like it's cool, but like actually, like looking back at it now, like what the fuck was that arm plate for, dude? Like, why? There, there was, there was aesthetic. less than no point to it. No uh, aesthetic is a choice. <laughs> yeah, no and then we go from his four star to his five star, which is cracked the fuck out. Like, oh like, my. this shit really oh. is cool as hell, but the sword got bigger for no reason, again. He had a dragon. He did have a pet dragon that didn't do shit. It's a cloak. He he gets cold, so he has it around his neck. <laughs> it's blanky. It's little blanky. <laughs> you say it's blanky. <laughs> it's blanky. Yeah, like. I, yeah, I do like the little, um, think, are those arm plates, like, at the bottom? No, those are like you remember. You ever? Well, you know, you've seen like full body armor and shit before, right? You yeah, know, you yeah. know. Um, like at the beginning of Final Fantasy XII, where Bosch and Rex were going through whatever the yeah. fuck that place was, and he had uh-huh. like that whole plate of armor covering like, like the top of his legs and shit, and like his, oh, like his like crotch. Shin guards. Yeah, oh. it's it's like that kind of shit. Oh, because I've seen them like in some samurai like um armor. Like sometimes it could be like on the on the shoulder plate, or mm-hmm. like yeah, or on the feet. Well, I think it might be anywhere. I think that it can be on. I have no idea. Yeah, they they were made to cover more than just like oh here's a, like a chest plate on arm guard. That's to like like cover like the top of your torso down to like your knees and shit. Yeah, because you never know someone could like come at you sideways literally and try to hack your shit off and then they hit that instead yeah that's about right mm-hmm. but hey, yeah what? so so now now we go from you know fucking unnecessarily large sword to absolutely fucking jacked Mifune set uh not Six, six star Mufune jacked as hell, a cool ass, almost Sephiroth type long ass sword and That's shit. That's what I was gonna say, bro. <laughs> <laughs> but bro, bro is like not looking like he's 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 some like loser off the street. And then and then we go to like like top ten coolest designs in the whole fucking game, bro. Like you can't you cannot tell me that this shit isn't gas, dog. I actually, it's pretty cool. Like uh, it, that's yeah, yeah. simple. That's simple but effective. Exactly. Yeah. Like, like th- th- this has. I am a strong motherfucker, and I don't need to tell you that I'm a strong motherfucker. I'm it's not the fact that for anything. By he the doesn't way. have to put anything. He doesn't have to put anything. It's just like you see me. I don't have to put any of these magic, uh, like shin guards or any dragons, bro. Look at my sword and look at my arm. Right. Do I not look strong? I don't right. know how to overcompensate for shit. Exactly, yeah. bro. Like, like, like that. F- the Omni designs are so cool. They're so fucking cool. And then, mm-hmm. like, what's funny 
about the Omni designs and shit is that the <laughs> the Omnis are the hey, what if they didn't die mm -hmm. of their evolution and their story and shit? Oh, cause like 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 I remember like like I say when I when I learned that every single character that you have in your team is dead because they were they they were either killed by arc and arc adjacent or they just died to some monster they were protecting people but they just died to some fucking monster and shit yeah that's the thing cuz i think man you could probably fact check me but like for a grand majority it was either death to arc death of old age death to a monster or they were just like in already an immortal being before it yeah mm. yeah that 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 was pretty much it for like all their fucking stories and shit and the only people that that you could have on your team that you know weren't canonically dead were ark carl grodens owen uh noah. noah um syria punk ass lugina <laughs> um is a carl i have to look this up Carl was the, uh, he was the, um, oh, he was like, cute. I take it back. <laughs> I take it back. He back. was the, uh, Continue. uh, he was like your, your, your best friend, bro type character in the story who turned out to be like half demon, but he just like didn't know until it, it was some fucking fight where he nearly died. And then he started having a super saiyan moment. And everybody was like, what the fuck, bro? And he was like, what's happening to me? And then you find out, and he's like, oh, my dad was a demon? Tight. Oh. Okay. All right. I approve. Okay, continue. Like, 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 he just, like, does not process that shit at all. He's like, oh, cool. And then goes, yeah. like, right back to doing his shit. Okay. And, uh... I think. Oh, and and uh, and and and, and Tilith, your 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 god waifu throughout the story. Who I'm not gonna cap for a long time. I was hoping she would die because of how annoying she was. But then they Damn. released her as a playable unit that you could get, uh, through story and then ev evolving her through like events and shit. And I'm like, oh damn, you're like really powerful. Why are you so fucking annoying? <laughs> <laughs> like like the 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 player characters from the story they were cool as hell and shit but like yeah everybody else was just hey we're dead people but i guess you can like borrow our power and shit and whatever and then like That's like uh you know if i think like the 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 in-game lore explanation is that like like if they get beat up enough, they just die all over again. Which is why, like, if if they die during a fight, they don't say KO, they just say dead. And like when 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 they hit me with that part of the song, I was like, Jesus Christ! That's horrible. <laughs> I wonder, did they even technically consent to being summoned or did Fuck we just no. like because we, we kind of just like bring them up like we're just going through their grave you just bring them up by their show like hey bro help me bro and you're just like, uh, like it, um, the same thing like fire home heroes they do the exact same thing you summon old heroes and then it's just like oh okay i summoned you so you're kind of mine now but yeah oh yeah that was the 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 gimmick of heroes yeah it's the same freaking thing i'm like we we do this. We do this, man. This is what happens to every gacha game. You're some type of like weakling uh, main character, and then you have the ability to call over spirits of the old, as they say, and then you just bring them in, make them fight, make them strong by force, right? And then call it. Because <laughs> oh, like like a lot of gacha games that have gameplay mechanics like that not just brave frontier like most of the time when you summon them they're like bro what the fuck do you want dog why are you bothering me i'm supposed to be dead leave me alone let me go back nope. to sleep and you the player character like ha nah nah no thanks and like i heard like, you were strong i need you i pulled you for that reason <laughs> i heard you <laughs> I, I can't do a goku voice because I, I laugh every time i do it but like, i heard you're pretty strong let me fight you type shit bro 
<laughs> like I can just imagine a conversation or just like some artist making this. Like you're like doing like the summoning things, and then like the unit pops up and it's like, where am I? Dude, I fucking spent a hundred dollars to summon <laughs> you. Okay, I don't care. Can I go back to sleep? No, shut up and take these frogs, bro. Take these frogs. Right, you just start cramming them bitches down their throat and shit. (laughs) (laughs) That would be so funny, bro. Oh my god. God. It's just like, like, you know, you reach in your back pocket. Dog, dog, wait, wait. You know how in Dragon Ball, they always carry the tends to be some, like, (laughs) (laughs) some punk ass little knapsack string bag, bro. You summon, <laughs> you summon oh them. God. Pull that bitch out your pocket. Take out a handful of frogs, and if you just hand it to him, you be like, "Eat." <laughs> <laughs> and they're just looking at you in disgust, like, "What the fuck?" You still gotta eat it. <laughs> I'd rather be dead. That can be arranged, dog. Too bad. I'm dog. <laughs> Yeah. And then, oh, like, yeah. and then, like, 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 th- there's too many units to name because, like, you know, with well, no, including and not including evolutions, there's like over, like, like what a thousand, uh, fifteen hundred characters in this goddamn game and shit. No way! Yep. I just got up in the wiki, uh, eighty seven hundred. That's about right. And yep. shit, and right, and like, like majority of the time they like. They hate your ass, bro. Like they, they are not nice to you at all. And like, like the the, the evolution context, the fusing, uh, context is like their summoning conversation or whatever. And if they got an omni, they'd be like, "Huh, you know, you're actually pretty cool." And shit. Oh, that's that's <laughs> because yeah, they leveled you up to that high, and then they're like, "Huh, I like being strong now." Right. Yeah, cause like I remember, like for some, like they're either because it's either like three different motions, like indifferent, screw you, or like ah, yes, I will go mad with this power and stuff like that. Like it was, it was those range of emotions that they typically have, and it was always just interesting to read them, like to pull up, like let me see if I can find some of them, cause like I know some of them were hilarious. Yeah, like like um, like like there was there, there was one no. No, 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 um, bro, 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 you remember the, uh, 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 Al-Anon dude with the book, and the blue hair, and a face tattoo? Oh my, god. wait, 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 And, like, wait, everything wait. he said was a fucking meme? Oh, oh really? My... Dude, yeah. You guys have to pull up, bro, 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 I'm, I feel I'm, like I remember him, dude, I'm, you, you I'm, gotta I'm, find him, gotta I'm find about him, to, I'm about to, I'm about to, give me a second, give me a second. Cause, like, like, not oh, only, man. not only was he one of, like, many, uh, global-only units, dude was mm-hmm. meta as fuck. Like, like, Ooh. like, I'm telling it, like, he, he was such an unreasonably good unit that if you didn't get him at any point and, like, something required, like, like, top tier support or mitigation or whatever, mm-hmm. you might as well just not even done the thing, which goes back to what we were talking about earlier. But nah, bro, yeah. this dude, this, this dude was so fucking oh. cool. But like, Dude. like, like all all of his evolution dialogue and his fusing dialogue was fucking meme shit. Like, like, like he he would quote "What is love?" word for word in one of his fucking forms. Oh no way. Um, he would uh, he would uh, he he would frequently say "Baby, don't hurt me." Um, he he would quote like like like, like current internet meme culture at the time and shit. And that that's how like not really like uh I guess up to date but like wholesome he was. Plus like he he was also the uncle to to one of the strongest units in the fucking game, bro. Like Which was Um Ah Jesus. It was uh There were a couple. It was like that one fairy chick. There was the um She was uh oh, um, She was uh I think she was a dark unit. She had big ass cat claws, and she could crit. She could uh spark her own attacks. Mm. I ca- I don't remember exactly who she is, but like, like um, I I think I think when you kick Alanon up to Omni, he says something like, "Hey, have you seen my niece?" By the way, it was like, 
Oh, huh? Bro, you got you got family? <laughs> <laughs> you like uh dude, there were so many so many good things about Brave Frontier, but the negatives unfortunately outweighed the positives crazy. Mm. Like yeah. <clears throat> excuse me, I remember um uh like one of the uh actually no wait this can be related to current time so there was um there was there was an event with uh uh ray arc and uh uh, uh their demo rhythm game yeah and shit. i pulled for the, i pulled for uh the the girl and um vocal Lord as well i i had those units i don't i missed them but i had them yeah, like like that. There was a really really good um like event because that that that's when I learned what um like the rhythm game demo was. I mean, what the fuck is this? What 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 is a demo and shit? What is a demo? Because oh. because the song the song that was playing. Oh, I can't, I I do not I do not remember the name of the song off the top of my head, but mm. I I I I can hear it. I can hear it. I, when I when I cut this out into like the YouTube video and start making like highlights of this bitch, I'll like throw in the song on there. But like that shit was cool as fuck. And like when you um when you uh like you do the event and like if you win, there was a chance that that inst wrong, wrong thing. It, there was a chance that instead of having to pull for the unit, you got her as a drop. And shit. Yeah, I really wanted her so much. And I tried so hard. <laughs> I couldn't and, get it. And the reason that I can like relate this to real time is because um uh the people behind Rayark that made like demo and Cytus mm -hmm. or whatever, mm -hmm. they yeah. they started like tweaking the fuck out and they they straight up like fired all of their artists and replaced oh, them with AI shit. Oh God! Oh, no. What the? No, yeah, no. because because there was a um um there was there was a, a tweet that found its way on my timeline, but it was in Korean, and I'm like, that's mm -hmm. interesting. Normally, only uh K-pop stuff that someone else retweets would make its way onto my timeline and shit, but someone was reporting about how they fired all their artists. And started replacing them with like AI art and shit, and like not to support Rayark or any 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 Rayark games anymore. And I was like, dog, Aww. there's no fucking mm -hmm. way. So no. like, I went to the website and I was looking at the the, the images that the person put on it posted, and I was mm -hmm. like, bro, are you fucking serious, dog? That's that's fucked up, bro. Cause like it is. Cause like you know. The, the the there there was there was there, there was custom um like art from Rayark in mm -hmm. Brave Frontier for that event like the arena was custom um the little like banner for it was 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 custom like you knew that it was their art and shit and mm -hmm. just remembering how dope that shit was and then hearing about them doing the shit now because this got reported on like like two days ago and I'm like dog there's no fucking way they doing that shit bro. I mean, Bruh, that's I mean, not good. Cause it, like a lot of people play like their rhythm games. I mean, Sidus Two is still around. I mean, I don't really play Sidus that much. I'm more of a. I think I don't know if they have boys, but uh, I usually do Arsea and like um, Demo. Not so much, but damn, everybody knows Rayark as the people who make like rhythm games. <laughs> yeah, like. They are the go-to motherfuckers for that shit. And they yeah. just... They just... Fucked up. Oh my god. I just played one of their games freaking yesterday. I feel embarrassed. One of the <sighs> biggest bag fumbles you could ever do. For real. Really? I mean, like, like, like... Astronomical, out of this dimension level fumble, too. And, and like, it, it's just... I, I'm I'm glad I'm very very glad actually that Brave Frontier did not come out or like survive into you know the 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 current you know AI and NFT era bullshit that oh, shit. that that You're artists right. got to deal with You're and right. shit because I listen listen I I am 
700% convinced, right? Because Gumi and Aleem, they was about their fucking bag. Like, it didn't matter what they were going... They was going to see some money, right? Mm -hmm. So, I fully believe that had they survived this long, they would have tried to put in, like, NFTs and AI art shit into the fucking mm -hmm. game and trying to get people to pay for it and whatever. I, I, I do believe that. I believe that with all my heart of hearts. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm glad that it didn't because... You know, sprite war sprite art is a very unique and like meticulously crafted thing that has to be done well. And it's bad enough that people are already like AI arting like anything and the shit is advancing so much to where sometimes you gotta look like real oh, deep. It's it's bad enough that AI art shit is um Getting to the point where you gotta look like real, real heavy to where you can, you know, determine if it's AI or not. And putting that shit in a sprite based game with like millions of other sprite based like art and shit. That's that, that's that, that's gonna be a real fucked up slope to go down. And now that I'm, uh, <laughs> now that I'm remembering it, I did catch wind of some, some jerk ass on Facebook of all places, uh, <laughs> talking about trying to bring back a uh, Brave Frontier, but using AI and NFTs. And I'm looking at it and I'm like, what? yeah, no. it, it never got off the ground, but I was looking at the shit and I'm like, what? What is? Huh? No. Like, Who? If you're gonna ever bring back Brave Frontier, don't do it with Anna. Like the biggest thing, the the biggest thing about the game was its art. So yeah. to bring it back with AI and NFTs, what the fuck? Get this shit, out. get the whack ass shit out of my face, bro. Mm -hmm. oh, the hell? No, like AI. I think like everyone can come as a collective whole and say that it's not good as like this AI art. I guess I mean there are some I guess positives to it, but like right now, no, no, mm -hmm. because people can make can people can make an AI create videos. They can make them um like do art, write a story, uh freaking answer your test question, buddy. No, <laughs> no. Shit, did this shit. Look, look, it's. You know what? I well, I already have like a list of topics to get into for like the next episode of, of Around a Crip, but one one of them mm -hmm. is most certainly going to be the AI and, and 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 the NFT bullshit. But like, mm -hmm. like, it's 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 crazy how so many people are willing to do that shit and like not give a fuck about people who busted their ass and and continue to bust their ass trying to make some good art trying to make trying to make a bag off of it right because because mm -hmm. because you know that i i see at least like one um retweet or quote retweet a day talking about how like someone uh can't get commissions anymore or or people don't want to pay for commission because they didn't get ai to do it and every time if someone it's like someone quoting the AI jackasses being like, oh, AI won't take away artist jobs. AI won't take away commissions. AI won't do this. And it is, bro. It is at an alarming rate because they're, they're, they're still fucking them up, but they're starting to get eyes and hands right. Yeah. I'm and, like, people are pointing it out. And I'm like, don't point it out. People will know. They'll catch on. Stop it. Right. Like, like that. that's the freaky part. If, if they can get eyes and hands right, uh, I I don't I I don't draw as my form of art. I do video editing, but we're fucked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we're so mm -hmm. fucked. And 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 this last thing before we go, you know, back to Brave Frontier bullshit. But like, I saw a TikTok the other day of someone trying to trying to de develop like an AI based editing thing where you tell it the prompts and the types of edits you want it to do. And I looked at that shit and I was like, 
No. Oh, buddy. Absolutely the fuck not. We don't. We do not need this shit. At all. And it's just like, like, you know, people, people that are like pushing for this shit and talking about, yeah, this is it, this is the move. They're just fucking lazy, bro. Or, or like, like, <laughs> what's what's crazy is that like they don't want to pay someone to draw something, but they'll pay for like this currency to use for the AI thing to prompt it to tell it exactly what they want. And I just find that to be hilarious. And on the topic of paying for shit, going back to Brave Frontier. They like, they had like, like one, like super huge like gem bundle thing like a month and shit. It'd be like, oh, you can get like a hundred gems for like eighty dollars and whatever. Or like, oh no no no, that would that would be like the discount or whatever the fuck. It'd be like you get a hundred gems, uh, like some spheres, some L gifts and whatever. Usually that'd give us like. You know enough money to feed someone at a to feed like four people at a restaurant and shit. And I remember when um they would do like like discounts on top of discounts and then summoning gate discounts to get you to spend more money. Cause there there was a guy on Reddit and I I'm I think this post might be gone, but <laughs> there was a dude that dropped like like eight hundred dollars in one day. On oh. Brave Frontier for the featured banner unit because it, it was a gem discount on top of a summoning, uh, like a gem summon discount with the featured banner unit having the, you know, the, the, the higher rate up chance and shit. And it was just like, like, bro, <laughs> bro thought he was cooking when he made his post time, but yeah, I spent $800, bro. He was getting roasted so damn hard in that comment Aww, section. Oh, poor guy. Cause like, like, like with 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 eight hundred dollars, bro only got like like twenty copies of the unit, which which isn't even enough to omni all of them, which is the hilarious part, because it's not like it's not like some other gotcha games where you can have like an evolved version of a unit, but then like the stage before that and that counts as the next step. No. If you if you wanted to evolve a four star and you didn't have like the the materials for it, you needed another copy of that four star. And like if you wanted to evolve a seven star or an omni into omni plus one, you couldn't just do it with their two star or their four star or their seven star version. No, if you want to take an omni to an omni plus one and you didn't have another copy of that omni guess who's not getting mm. that omni plus one oh, buddy that's not eesh. They, they made this game i feel like unnecessarily hard like i feel like it's the same thing with genshin like you know if you can't if you get the double character you could like you know ascend your character and everything but in this game it's looking like you have to have them at the same specific level mm -hmm. for you to level up your own to get to that level. And mm -hmm. I'm like, that's not really fair because do you know that the, the chances of getting that one level is not the same as getting the one that you... Eh, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It really it's is. Because, really like, like th this shit was... Like, like, this was before, um, uh, like, step ups and uh, pity... Oh my god, dude! Mm. This, this this was long before that shit. It was just keep summoning and keep summoning and keep summoning, and it was like, it was like after a hundred total summons on that particular banner, you were guaranteed one of the four to five featured uh unit banner uh uh units on the banner. And it was just randomized which one you would get. And more often than not, it was not the one required to win the event shit that was going on that particular um, event or whatever. And it was like, like, like playing, playing gotcha games now is a very, very good thing. There's a pity system like, yeah. like, like what, what, what Genshin, what do they call the, uh, the, the, the 50, 50. Yeah, uh, I, I, I haven't. I don't want to talk about it. 
I will hey, hey look I don't play Genshin I'm a Genshin hater so this this is y'all's quote I, I don't know shit about this like, how, how the 50 50 in Genshin works in passing but like the way the 50 50 works is like somewhere between 50 to 75 pulls you'll get you'll have a half chance to get either one of the units or I believe one of the weapons or something like that I, I don't fully know it I'd have to ask my friend but no. it's just yeah, I just have fun pulling. I mean, I already got the character I wanted for the rest of the game ever. So I'm just, I'm, I'm just fun trying to collect everything. I am a Hyrule Compendium collector, bro. I <laughs> like collecting things, you know, like, oh, I want to finish all the quests. I want to get all the, all the Sele's. I want to get all the freaking, um, chests in the area. I want to complete everything. I have an oh, issue. <laughs> Uh, that's actually that was my um my goal in Brave Frontier because I was oh, like okay good fucking luck. <laughs> <laughs> I tried and I I quit halfway. I was like okay, mm, I'm lucky. Look at all these like hidden blocks I can unlock and shit. Oh okay, okay, okay. Like bro, a couple months and I was like yo, you know what? I'm being realistic. I don't think it's gonna. But okay, I I've cut my. Yeah, yeah. I was Boy. ready. I was so happy. I was like, oh my god, I can just I can just simply start with the weak ones and then just like make my way up, up, up. Nope. Nope. Even, bro, even like evolving the weak ones, like, they took a while, man. They took a while. Yeah. Oh my god. It took a while. The only fucking easy thing to evolve was like the freaking tadpoles and the slime. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god. I was like, alright. This is sad, but okay. Like, they... Like like I, like, like we've said earlier, right? The mm -hmm. game has... Has a lot of cool shit. And done, like, some unique things or whatever. But they just... They, they got too deep into their bag to where they just started tweaking out. Yep. Like... Like, I, I, I remember... Um... Uh, there was uh, like when they introduced the uh, the, the the raid battle system into the thing and guilds and shit, mm -hmm. it was oh. it was cool on paper. However, it some sucked. of the yeah they they <laughs> sucked like like they crashed all the time or like 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 very very specific unit upgrade material was locked behind raids that happened like. Like, like once a month, like you had the ones that came with like that particular mode period, but then you had like timed raid events and shit. And it was like, oh, hey, if you don't do this thing, you cannot omni this unit and it's probably not going to come back for like half a year. And it's like, bro, like, like that's the shit that people didn't like. That's the shit that took away people's ability to play and enjoy the game because, you know, in 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 any game, right? There mm -hmm. there's there there's things that people do and there's things people enjoy. But if the game is like, hey, yeah, you cannot do this thing because you do not have this one specific item, and then you see everybody else like around you doing that shit sucks. That shit really sucks. And um um like like going back to uh uh like like a third arc of the game. Right, you you had to beat Konamasta, his like three phase ultimate pen final boss bullshit. You had to beat that to not only unlock third arc where you get to play as yourself. You also had to do that to get arc as a playable fucking character, and then you had to beat his specific trial to be able to upgrade him into an Omni unit. And it's like, bro, this is doing way too much. And on top of that, right, the little side fight thingy was catastrophically easier than the story fight. And, you know, you would assume that it's going to be a marginally harder and whatnot. But no, you could if you had the right setup, you could beat that shit in like two turns. <laughs> And it's just like, like, you know, they do, they did some good things. Their summoning system was not good at all, but it just for, for, for its lifespan, it 
was at moments during its early days like like i'd go as far as say like pre pre the middle of seven star era you could argue that it was a really good game but after that fuck no <laughs> fuck yeah, no like, the thing Ooh. about brave frontier was that it honestly had a really decent amount of potential to be like one of those really good gotcha games like obviously it wasn't a mainstream gotcha game like your um like like your angry birds your your sports games like it wasn't like a mainstream game but it could have been a really good game with a lot of good mechanics and like pretty good skill well not necessarily not necessarily like skill like uh skill ceiling and skill floors but it really had the potential to be really good but like it just was just so bad because monetization for mobile games back in the day was utter shit um eventually they just decided to just make it so you had to pull a pool or just skip the event and then they just made way too many decisions that were just like what the fuck it it could have been better right because it had so it had it had it had it had Shin Megami Tensei collabs it had King of Fighters collabs it, it, yeah. Brave, Brave Frontier was the Fortnite of gacha games oh back, that's about right back in the that's day right. hell yeah brother shut up mm-hmm Oh, Fortnite! We like, we like Fortnite. We like Fortnite. <laughs> like, like it, it really was because you know the 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 North American servers had its own, um, uh, like specific events, and then the Korean servers and the European the European servers had more collab events in the, than the North American servers, but it was dead ass the Fortnite of gotcha games because you know looking at fortnite it's got dragon ball rick and morty the avengers spider-man fucking dc fucking halo and anime and so much shit and when like like you know look looking at fortnite now compared to what it was back in the day two different fucking games looking at brave frontier pre middle seven star era to omni era two different fucking games swear to god two different games and Mm. it's just like Damn, we really played that shit. <laughs> we really did. We really like. That's one thing though. I never spent money on it. I never yeah. spent a dime on that game. Man, I was in high school. I didn't have a job. I had True. to pray to the RNG gods to give me what I want. Even then, it wasn't. That wasn't enough. Even when I got my allowance, I never spent it on the game, which I'm proud of. I refuse to spend money on that game. Like it's just. Hey, I I. I personally didn't see it as like the kind of game to put money down into because it just gave you the shit for playing the game, which was like the move in my opinion from the very beginning. But like, like their Brave Frontier was dead ass a pay to win ass game, bro. Which can be argued for any gotcha game out there. But Brave Frontier was the worst of the worst. And I just I just thank God that like there's no other toxically pay to win gotcha game out there anymore. Not that not that's in the super mainstream at least. Well yeah. Yeah. You know, like 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 I brought up earlier, the only, the only gotcha game that I play these days is the City of Final Fantasy Opera Omnia. And un- until that game starts going downhill, that's going to be it. Because I remember <laughs> when um when uh, uh the Octopath uh gotcha dropped here. Oh yeah, he told uh, me about in, that one. In the West, like I started playing it, but I was like, I see a lot of things in this that I don't like, so I'm probably not going to keep playing it. It's still installed on my phone, like I'll open up every now and then, but I'm like, I nah, it's, it's too much shit that I don't like. Yeah, like for me personally, like I have the I play the CD as my main, and then I have a uh, Bang Dream as a rhythm game, and I like that game. But like after a while, like it's just like a lot of mobile games and their issues is that there's too much monetization, and it's just like fuck. Like I I I don't want to spend any money to have to pull for these, and I don't want to have to do all this current extra stuff just to potentially have a chance to unlock this. Like it's just like. It's bad, but, 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 
one thing I will say, and we can kind of segue this into a little bit of Brave Frontier, um, the music of mobile games has evolved. Yo, facts. Like, dude, facts. Like, we oh, wait, we, like we were just sitting here thinking like, oh yeah, nah, it's only rhythm games that have the bet. No. no. Nope. Not at all. Like, Dokkan, Another Eden, all those po- all those Pokemon S kind of games that be coming out. Yep, oh yep. my god. Hmm. You talk about like it puts console games to shame. It's just like, please, <laughs> uh, hey, 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 wait, wait, you tweaking, uh, you tweaking, nah, bro, 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 no, 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 you tweaking, you tweaking if you I, say I, it puts console games to shame, nah, bro, I swear to god, I'm not, dude, okay, bro. wait, 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 I'm, I'm still on the side of you tweaking, however. When you say console games, do you mean like a certain genre, a certain region of console games, or console games as a whole? Because you mean as a whole, you tweaking. It can put some console games to shame. Okay, that we can agree on. Like, okay. like okay. I'm not like I'm not gonna say like it's shits on all of them because God no, like there are too many games to that would be considered in all of them. But like, like I'm just gonna like randomly like scroll through like a list of games on my library because I'm helping out some people. Let me just like scroll through real quick. Um, let's take uh, take uh, let's take dot hack for example, right? Huh? Dot hack. <gasps> no, I love dot hack. Out. How Hear fucking dare Hear you, dog? Out, what? Right? Okay, Hear okay, you, 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 all right, I, okay, please, your case. Okay, mm-hmm. so. There's some bangers. Everything at once, or everything in hand, or everything at once. That's a banger, right? Uh-huh. Like there's some really, like there's some really, really, really good songs. Uh huh. Uh huh. But uh huh. Uh huh. Hear me out, dude. I swear uh-huh. to God. Do you had better? Oh, bro, hand it over. Come on. Uh-huh. I promise you that there are so many good songs in both Dokkan Battle and Another Eden that that just. They, they just sound so good. You would think that they were all on console games, but no. Dokkan Battle and Another Eden are exclusively mobile games. Like future Android 17 to 18's uh active skill. Uh what what the Dokkan community calls Birdku. His OST, his OSTs, which was and Birdku is the uh cooler movie Goku. Yeah. Um you got um uh, Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta Steam. You got uh, Jiren Steams. You got a bunch of really good piano s Vegeta themes. You have just so many good songs. And honestly, like I've listened to like damn near at least probably like half of the entire Dokkan OST, dude. Like it's genuinely that good. And to go to another Eden for a brief moment, that game that game has its own issues. It's like a five out of ten game, but its music in that game is way too good. Like one of like the first bosses that you actually fight, and you're supposed to lose it because it's a story battle. Like that theme is so good, and and you could probably look it up and like put it into the video, right? But when you look up to release the paradise from another Eden, that is the first. That is the uh, final boss phase one thing. That shit, when I first heard it, I damn near ascended to the fucking heavens, dude. <laughs> it was oh my God. that good. I was so blown away by how good it sounded. The way the chords progressed, the way the song progressed as a whole, and the overall desolate but just majestic feeling the song had was utterly appalling to me man like it was that good so when i say that mobile games and specifically like with dokkan and another eden like they can like there's a chance that it can put some console games some notable console games to shame i don't say that lightly i say that with my whole chest bro like i'm telling you dude it is ridiculous Mm, mm. okay okay Okay. Okay, you, 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 you pled your case well because I'm not gonna lie to you. Me and you just finna beat your ass. You started talking bad about Dot Hack, bro. <laughs> Dot Hack, bro. I was like, dude, <laughs> someone's gonna get their toes curled in, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's not gonna be good. Talk about. I'm gonna break your fucking toes off, dog. Talk about. Oh. 
fucking bombastic level side eye, bro. Oh my god, criminal offensive side eye. <laughs> you <laughs> you was finna get oh. fucked up, bro. <laughs> my golly. But you know what? Okay, I I agree. Like there's there are some some games, even anime included, where like the series or like the game itself is pretty bad, but the music is pretty good. I will admit, I will admit, you are correct in that. But you mm, you are stepping you are stepping on a fucking line, bro. You <laughs> stepping on a freaking yellow line on a road. But Man. I first first okay. episode and the co-host already finna get his ass beat by the guest. God damn. Uh-huh. <laughs> God damn. Oh. I'm telling you, man, don't do not sleep, bro. Don't. Hey, 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 hey. I'm not, look, look, we're not saying we sleeping on them, but if you doing a music comparison with Da Hack, you better watch your fucking words. Mm-hmm. That's mm-hmm. how good it is, dude. That's how good it, bro. Like, like and I get, I, I get it, I get it, I get it. Da Hack has some absolute bangers. Like, That's right. I get it. Sorry. Boy! Like, oh man. Oh, dude. I'm telling you, dude. Like, just like randomly give like DBZ World, just type them in on YouTube and just like randomly for for a little bit, just like listen to like random songs. Like, I'm telling you, like just Chef's Kiss, dude. Like, it's it's too good. It's too good. I would never say this if I want if I wasn't 10 toes on it, bro. I promise you. And I'm not, and I'm not even trolling. Like I'm so serious. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. <laughs> and y'all boys are like, mm-hmm. what the fuck is this you talking about? <laughs> hey, mm. hey, you see my expression on my live through deal? Okay. Mm. <laughs> Don't start tweaking now. Mm. 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 Nah, fucking like, like. You 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 are right though. Like gotcha gotcha music has evolved so damn good because the <laughs> the only song that I can remember from Brave Frontier is like mm. that one victory lap song like, like you're finding the final boss of insert area here or like like you're about to finish like a huge story arc or whatever and it plays the uh I can't, can't remember I'll I'll put it on the video but um it is it's like yeah this is your time you're gonna this is your victory lap song type shit like you got it dog this this is your w let's can let, <laughs> i gotta find my big ass hat to, to commemorate this w boss man type shit <laughs> like that's the only fucking song i can remember because all the other songs that i can remember that i heard in brave frontier <laughs> are not from brave frontier they're from the event shit the fucking the demo, the King of Fighters, the Guilty Gear shits, the Shin Megami Tensei is like that's not Brave Frontier music. <laughs> yeah, like I, I was I specifically remember though, like this theme is drilled into my head. The fucking boss, like the normal boss battle, like did it, did it, did it. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that's ingrained into my skull, and I'll never, re- never not remember that dude. Yeah, we oui, that was a uh, good talk, good fucking talk. <laughs> You almost got your ass beat on several occasions, but good talk. Yes. <laughs> All right. So on that note, I believe that it is now a good time to call the end to the first episode of Around the Crypt featuring the homie Yuki. Yeah. Don, 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 don. Paku, 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 pachi, pachi, whatever the fuck they say. Explosions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Uh, you can find her at twitch.tv slash yukiangel51. Uh, yeah. same thing on Twitter. She does art, good ass fucking art. She draw out my wrist. She draws all her own shit. You should. Yeah. Well, there's no should. You will, uh, commission her now. Yeah. And, uh, you know, she streams yeah. very frequently. It does a lot of good things. Yeah. And. <laughs> A uh, fellow JRPG uh, enjoyer. Yeah. I don't know what else to say, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> uh, like I said, Zero has no social media presence, so he doesn't need an outro. If you see oh. me on Final Fantasy fourteen, I got the same name. Uh, slash Converse. I. 
when I the day I get 14, which I mean I, I'm trying to see if I can get it soon at some point because I'm like I gotta try it, see what see what's the happen. So I'll add you. I'll add you to my friend list. That Dog. that yeah. that shit can be a whole episode all on its own. An episode where well, how would you convert people to play 14? <laughs> Well, that, yes, and just 14 as a whole. Yeah, I would, ah, for that one, I'd probably just be, like, the one in the background. Like, you you gotta have, like, a whole, uh, what, whiteboard, and just show me, like, okay, so, here's what you do when you first get the game. Uh This, 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 bam, don't do this, 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 this. Now, answers from the question class, something like that, I don't know. Yeah, pretty much. I'll be on the test. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) But yeah, shit was good. We gotta. There's gonna be more of this because, like I said, um, this is the first of many. I do intend to do this at least once a month with like a max of two or three. Mm-hmm. Uh, Zero is always gonna be here as the co-host. Uh, the guests are gonna be switching in and out. I do in. I do intend to have like returning guests. The more I do this. Yeah! Me. But on that, no, yes, you, you will be returning guests. You can rest assured on that. Yeah. <laughs> uh. On that note, I will catch all y'all <clears throat> later, y'all in chat, y'all in the call, and I'm gonna start pressing buttons. And the next time it happens will be the next time it happens, cause I didn't make a date for this shit yet. About right. <laughs> That's about right. Yep. So I will see all of you wonderful, wonderful people late whore. Bye. Bye. Farewell. Afidasian. Sayonara. (laughs) Um, I don't know what else how I used to say bye, but bye. (laughs) Bye. I'm gonna keep saying until you freaking click. I'm watching the stream, bro. Bye. It's, a, it's okay. I, I I have my finger hovered over the uh, the uh, the disconnect button because my screen transition drowns out all noise. Okay. Do it. Bye. 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 Go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. <laughs> bye. 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 <laughs> oh man, that that was good. That was good for uh, for a first episode.